What's up guys, Bruce from Printavo, Simple Shop Management. Next up is Sati. So Sati presented with Dave Mackin about emulsion and about mesh. So uh, some of the best practices that they said is first mesh choice. The rule of thumb is that they said multiply four times whatever the DPI is of the image to get the minimum mesh count that you want to be able to use. For example, if it's a 50 DPI image, it should use at least a 200 mesh. Now the one thing that was emphasized a couple times here in Shop said it, Brett at Print Thread said he uses it, they mentioned it, is this new Hydro Mesh product. What that is, is it's a thinner thread on the mesh to be able to get a more, uh, a better quality print because there's not as many lines in there when the ink goes down. Now, they did mention that it's a bit more delicate and fragile, but not to a point of, you know, it's gonna tear in and it pops all the time. It's just something to, to more so be aware of. So that's the hydro mesh that they recommend, something to ask your rep about as well. He talked about mesh preparation as a big item. Don't just do or use degreaser, but make sure to actually mesh prep. And that really maximizes the chemical adhesion of the emulsion to the screen a lot better, so you don't have issues. Um, they have a couple of chemicals that they recommended. Again, you'll have to reach out to your Saudi rep or whoever you chat buy from on emulsion to be able to get more advice on that. But that's definitely a big thing they mentioned with water-based printing, especially when getting those 10 to 50,000 impressions Per screen. Also with the emulsion, he does recommend using t giving it 24 hours to truly harden. So overnight, you can't rush this one through to so get those higher impression counts too. And of course, again, just making sure to post dispose the screen from the squeegee side down in the light to give it that extra that hardened feel to get their impression count out. Now, as for when coating the screens, if you don't have an auto coater, or actually if you do, they did recommend that the scoop coater have a one millimeter radius edge right there instead of a sharp one or a lower, and that gives the best quality hole for that emulsion to be able to stay in adhesion to the screen too. From there, making sure to dry the screen squeegee side up, not crooked, not sitting against the wall. Again, gravity is gonna have a component here and you wanna give the emulsion the best chance to dry flat completely and again, stay hard and not dissolve throughout this print. Now, exposure time you mentioned does have a couple different factors that play a part here. So your mesh color he mentioned, if it's white, it reflects more light than a yellow. The type of light that you're using, the distance of the light to the screen. So it really kind of depends. They do give away this free, uh, this little kit though, that you match up to the colors to make sure that it has hit the correct exposure time. So you can ask your rep there to be able to send you one of those. Now to give the best chance of burning in the screen too, of course direct to screen makes it a lot easier. A good, good quality vacuum to really press that screen down in the glass. And then also post exposure, waiting for it again to dry out and then post exposing again and giving it 24 hours.